Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is a demo of an offline first to-do app built with Replicache. This is your basic web-based to-do app. It has the features you'd expect of any to-do app. You can create new to-dos, edit them, mark them done, or delete and reorder them. The thing I want to point out is how fast it is. This video hasn't been sped up at all. Creating and editing to-dos is instantaneous, as if this was a native app storing its data on the local SSD. But it's actually a web application, and these changes are being saved to a service with a round-trip time of about a second. Offline first architecture is a way of building this kind of super responsive UI that's generalized, robust, and correct. Apps like Superhuman, Figma, Telegram, iCal, as well as most network games, have been using the offline first pattern for years, and it's a big part of what makes them feel so snappy. Offline first apps also typically update live, in real time, automatically reflecting changes from other users. Users don't have to reload to see the latest data. Any changes that affect what they are seeing are pushed to them and displayed automatically. Even if the server or the network is slow, it makes no difference to the responsiveness of the app. Changes still happen instantly on the local device and are synced later as connectivity allows. Replicash makes it easy to build your own offline first applications, and it works with any backend. You don't have to use a custom backend database from us. Replicash runs alongside your existing stack, and its only job is to add fast, robust, bidirectional sync from your web service to your existing client. Of course, conflicts are the main challenge with offline first. As soon as you allow users to mutate data on the device, you have to think about what happens when data is modified in parallel, on the server or by other users. Replicash has a unique programming model that makes reasoning about conflicts much, much easier. You can read all the details of our sync protocol in our design doc on our website. Also, Replicash was designed in consultation with independent distributed systems expert Kyle Kingsbury of Jepson, and you can read his summary on our website as well. Replicash is now in beta for the web platform. You can try it out and kick the tires while it's in beta for free, and the pricing we'll use post-launch is on our website. If it sounds like something you'd like for your application, check it out at js.replicash.dev, or better yet, just drop it in and say hi on Slack. We'd be happy to help you work through whether Replicash is a good fit for your problem. Thanks for listening, and have a great day or night wherever you're at. We look forward to speaking.